Let's react to this video, because I like it. Sasha, it seems at the moment that everyone and their dog is telling you that you should not invest in the stock market. About 99% of finance YouTubers are telling you that you should sell everything because, you know, the stock market fell last year. Everything is down. Almost every single finance expert on CNBC and on Twitter and everywhere else is telling you that the greatest financial collapse ever is about to happen. I am not sure which finance experts are worse and more clownish, the ones on CNBC or the ones on Twitter, but here I am looking looking at all this mess and feeling mighty confused. Of course, I have no way of telling what the future will look like. And unlike all of the magic fortune tellers, I am aware of this fact, but I also see data. And I am not sure if I am looking at a completely different set of data to the rest of the world, or maybe panic and fear sells. You know He's absolutely right. That's what I hear too. End of the world. Don't buy stocks. They're all looking at the same data. And, uh, you know, let's listen to the last uh, last few minutes of this video because I like it too. Stocks and earlier stage companies are absolutely destroyed. Many of them are down 40 to 70%. Everyone is waving their hands above their heads, selling stocks, telling you you should sell stocks as well. The worst ever recession that you've ever seen is apparently coming and is going to wipe everything out. Michael Berry went and said some fucking bullshit, so let's go and print his tweet again. It's going to be way worse than the financial crash. And you know what? Maybe it will happen. Maybe it won't. I don't really give a shit as a long-term investor. All I can see is that key economic variables that I am looking at are trending in the right direction. I see stocks that are selling at absolutely stupid prices because I'm telling you this. The market's emotional state seems to closely resemble a teenager on drugs. And can the market go even further down? Sure. I have no idea. The market can stay irrational for a while. But when will the market bounce back? I have no clue. Maybe it'll bounce back in March when the Fed does not increase rates for the first time. In a I have no idea either. Well, and everyone starts making videos about the magic Fed pivot that came out of absolutely nowhere or whatever. Maybe it'll bounce back in two years time. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that there is a window right now where you can go and buy stocks for massive discounts. Now, not all of the stocks are going to go back up. Sure, I get that. I'm not an idiot because there are a lot of overhyped bubbles. There's a lot of companies that seem to be valued based on I have no idea what, but the market overall will go back up at some point. And I'm sure the moment we're hitting new all time highs, all the people shouting right now that you must sell all of your stocks will be shouting at that point that you need to start buying all the stocks again, because we're heading to the moon, you know, after those stocks go up a hundred percent from here, because that's how the world works. Stay safe out there. Do you? Yeah, absolutely agree with this. That's exactly what's going to happen. Um, right now they're all talking the same book saying the same thing, feeling comfort uh, to do what everybody else is doing. Uh, they're piling in with the same message. They're piling into the same stocks. They're saying the same things. Um, that's, how, um, that's how I'm pretty certain that, uh, you know, just be, when you go out there, you look for value, value in certain companies. Um, it's going to be massive. It's going to be massive life-changing returns. But when that's going to happen... I have no idea how much lower it's going to go. I have no idea. But when it turns, um, the returns are going to be freaking crazy. And, uh, and that's all I have to say.